morning everybody and this is kim from naturally kim's knitting i'd like to welcome you to my podcast it's all about knitting and spinning and dyeing of yarn all of which i do in my home outside of lima ohio and i live here with my gorgeous husband my father-in-law ron my dog ginger my kitty cat purdy and my and ron's dog dog cat Tommy. <laughs> Boy, he would be offended if I if he heard me call him a dog. Today oh. is January 7, 2020, and this is episode 192. We have a tree coming down, so I apologize if you hear either my dog ruck ruffing or the motor of the, the saw as they're cutting it. This just turned out to be the best time for me to take. Now you can find me all over the place on Ravelry. Um, the internet. On Ravelry, I have my personal site, which is Napier's Knits, and then I have um, a podcast thread called Naturally Kim's Knitting podcast site. On Instagram, I'm knitting underscore Kim, K-N-I-T-T-I-N underscore K-I-M, and then YouTube, blogger, WordPress, I'm Naturally Kim's Knitting. Now, we have a couple knit-alongs. First of all, let me tell you that all the winners from last week, excuse me. Sorry, I did tell you you would hear my dog barking and I she's not gonna stop. Um, right now I have her sitting beside me, but that doesn't mean much. See, there's my puppy right there. And you can see her ears are all perked up because she hears the chain or she hears the saw out there working on the tree. So she's all, whoops, oh no. Now my camera won't go back into place there we go <laughs> anyway so she's on high alert and I can't make her stop barking whenever she is although like I said she's being good right now so our, we have a couple I, I was saying that all the winners have notified me I did send out a little um, podcast showing or telling who the winners were so i hope you all saw that it might be the way i do it from now on um because i forget by the time the next podcast comes along and uh i think everybody saw it that needed to and i also usually send out um email or a ravelry um pm or something to let people know too okay so we do have a finished object for january knit along going along or craft along going up right now its drawing will be on february 1st to 2020 i get you saying that um prizes to choose from are a ten dollar gift pick either for knit picks or amazon amazon or a giftable pattern for up to ten dollars then we have one of my favorite designers i just had to do another myla i love myla's knit corner patterns um she has shawls she has hats she has mittens she has mitts um all lovely things anyways i decided to honor her by doing another knit along now for both of our knit or craft alongs you just take a picture of the item and post it under the right thread with the pattern name if you have it because other people might see it and say "Ooh, i like that one i see them and i say that quite often and then i go check out the pattern anyways um and post it in the right thread and february 1st for the finished object i'll draw i'll do random number generator to draw a winner and we're making myla's a three month so um april 1st april fool's day i will close that thread and we'll draw winners i want to do three months because if you're like me you've got several projects going at once and if you decide to do a shawl, you might need three months. So I, I decided this one's gonna be a three monther. If you haven't got your pattern yet, check it out. So I'll tell you, I did this podcast before. I had to stop to get something, came back, pushed the wrong button, so it wasn't recording. So everything that I was doing is now in different places, but that's okay. Now what do I have on my needles? Just a moment. I need to drink a little tea. My mouth's getting dry. 
ginger turmeric. Let me show you my finished object first. I was going to wear this. I have, don't have a block yet. And I, I hate that because I really should have, or I should have put an edging on it so it wouldn't have curled. But this is my son's scarf. It's made from that marble yarn that I got over in the UK. And it's just a simple diagonal stitch with um, seed stitch on both sides. I don't have a <coughs> ginger. It's okay. Um, I don't have a pattern written up. I didn't know if anybody would be interested. But if so, let me know and I will write up a pattern. But it's beautiful yarn. The only thing I haven't done, of course, is woven in the loose end. You know me. I will. And I usually spend one day where I, before I allow myself to knit, I have to weave in ends. But it's a nice length. I mean, even if he wanted to go like this, he could. So I hope he likes it as much as I enjoyed making it. He got a preview of it when we had our little get together, but it looks lovely. I, I love it. Now, my sister, I don't remember what I told you guys last week, um, but I showed her the pair of socks I was giving her, and she goes, you know, I love those socks because they just last and last. She goes, however, Don doesn't care for them. So instead of making him a pair of socks, why don't you just make me two? So she's getting two pairs of socks. Anytime anyone asks me to knit something up special for them, I love doing it. So I know this is a chroma yarn. I don't have the name, of course. Um, so they're not matchy-matchy. But that is the same colorway. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that colorway, and I love this colorway. Now, I do have both heels done. You can tell I've been working more on this one because I'm up the leg, and this one, I'm just barely, barely up the leg. <laughs> and no, I didn't put my rib heel on this one. I decided just to go standard. Actually, I got the heel three quarters of the way done and realized, oh, you didn't put the ribbing. But that's okay. So I'll be working on this some more this week. Actually, I'll probably work on both of them because I love I love working on socks. You know me. I've got two pair going at all times. I'll have three. I usually have three pairs going. I will have a third one. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this is for the soup kitchen. <sighs> when I had to re-record, I should have gone over and got the label, and I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, I will try to put it in the show notes if I remember. But, isn't that pretty? I love how this is knitted up. However, I realized, even though I love this, it's gonna show every spot of dirt. But, hopefully whoever gets these at the soup kitchen will not mind. I, I, it bugs me, but hopefully they will not mind. Then, Using two balls of two footsie that I got when I was um, pattern testing for Southwest Knitting, Southwest Trading Company, um, I had some of this left. Ah! <laughs> I decided to make a chemo cap for kids. And I, I got quite a ways done on that last week. I'm hoping to get more done this week. But uh, not hoping. I will get more done this week. But isn't that pretty? I love how that looks. I just put the two threads together and knitting them together in the hat because one would have, it might have worked, but I'm afraid it wouldn't have held up real well. Two will give it a nice sturdy um, foundation. So then I said I have, I usually have three pairs of socks going. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera. Well, my third pair of socks, I haven't started. I'm going to start them tonight. That's still my Christmas clock. Every hour it plays a different song and it helps me. I just love hearing it. Um, anyways, when we were on our trip, my friend Jenny um, took a picture of us girls in our, our trip socks. I didn't have trip socks because mine were a template and so it didn't look pretty like theirs did. But um, Jenny's brother saw them 
And he was commenting on how nice these were, and he would love to have a pair of socks. And he goes, but you don't really have to do it. Hey, I hear I would love to have a pair of socks, and I'm going to come up with it. It's going to have, I was going to put a Celtic cross on it, but I can't get the stitch numbers to be right. So instead, I'm just going to do a Celtic knot on it, and uh, on both sides. And I picked out, I decided to do the sock in one color and heels, toes, heels, and cuffs in another. So I've got the yarn picked out, and I'm going to start casting it on today. And hopefully it will work out. <laughs> if it works out, I will be posting this pattern to um, Ravelry because in my mind, it's going to be beautiful. Let's hope it will be in person. Anyways, okay, that's it for what on my needles, what's finished and what's going to be on my needles. I'm sorry for my doggie. She's just very, very sad. She doesn't like it when people are on her property. Now, as you know, I am an affiliate with Knit Picks. Um, and every month they have a different yarn that they put on sale. Well, this month they're having 20% off of Kotlin. I love Kotlin. Oh, just a moment. Sorry about that. The tree guy got done, so I thought I'd better go on out. That's why my glasses are dark. <laughs> my automatic sunglasses. Anyways, as I was saying, um, Knit Picks, I am an affiliate. And if you're ever interested in ordering anything from them, you could go to my link in WordPress, Blogger, or um, on Ravelry, and it would take you there, and I would get a couple pennies. It doesn't work in YouTube. I can't figure out how to do hyperlinks in YouTube. Anyways, this month, they're having 20% off Kotlin. And you can see, I've had this for over a year because I want to use it for some, something special. But I think I'm going to go ahead and knit something up with it. Um, I want to start making some dish cloths and things. So they have 20% off of their cotton. Then, oops, has it fell? Um, they're having a flash sale, which only goes through January 9th. <laughs> I'm so excited, but I can't buy any. Of 30% off of all chroma. Chroma. I love chroma. Oh. I love all the weights of chroma. I love the colors, I, everything, but I can't do it. Not right now. Then through February 11th, they're ha having 40% off of all of their books and they're having their sweater weather sale continuing through February 11th, where you save 10% when you buy, I believe it's 10 skeins of, the, of certain select yarns. Oh, if only I had the money. I never have the money, though, Selena. <laughs> Anyways, um, I was going to talk about our tree coming down, but I already talked about that. And the sunlight in that window now is just amazing. Wow. We had to have it taken down, though, because it was right beside the septic system, and we were afraid the roots were going to grow into the septic system. So I do want to tell you about... Um, a giveaway that I'm going to be having on my 200th anniversary. It's going, to, if you've ever watched or listened to BBC Radio, they have a show called Desert Island Discs. We're going to do our own little version of it. If you are stranded on an island, what would be the yarn and size needles that you would want to have with you? What would be the book that you would like to have with you besides the Bible. The Bible will going to automatically say is with you. And what other favorite thing would you like to have with you? Now the winner will be drawn by random number generator, but I love to hear um, your hear your thoughts, hear your answers. I will open I'll probably open this by the next podcast. I just haven't had the time to get in there and do that yet. But um I can't wait to hear your answers. It'll be so much fun. The prizes will be either a $10 Knit Picks or Amazon gift card or any giftable pattern up to $10. And uh, the amount of prizes I give depend on how many entrants I have. So tell your friends, tell anybody that they need to, if, if they're not a member of Ravelry, but they have Instagram, 
to go on there and I will let you know what the hashtag is for that and our finished object and our um, Myla's Knit Corner on um, Instagram. I'll let you know by next week. So if you want to post, I'm sorry I don't have those yet, but I will soon. And I will put a Desert Island disc on there too. So I'm excited. In fact, if you want to comment down below the comments on any of the show notes, that would work too. Since I opened it to Instagram, I feel like most people that comment on YouTube, I should I should consider your replies too. Um, like I said, I will close this. The morning before I do the 200th podcast, and then I will announce the winners on that podcast, and I'll send out like I did this time. So I can't wait. I'm so excited. This is cardamom. No, this is turmeric cinnamon tea. It's so good. And turmeric is good for you. I do apologize for not being so regular with my podcast. I never know when I wake up if I'm going to have a migraine or not. And <clears throat> I've had <clears throat> so many this, well, lately, even before this new year, that my husband's actually made me a doctor's appointment just so I could see what he suggests because I am taking pills whenever I have the symptoms. But if, I know there's a injection they can give you that can help keep them, at least limit the number for like six months or something. So I want to see him about that and see what he says. But I think, I'm sorry, I'm looking around because I'm trying to think. I think that's about all that I have to talk about this week. So, seems rather short, but you know, that's okay. I don't know why I don't have a lot to, well, I had no books I reviewed this past week. I'm reading a couple good ones right now, but I don't have any that I've actually reviewed, so I'm not talking about those. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderfully crafty week. I hope whatever projects you work on, that they're, that they're successful and that you don't have any mistakes. But if you do have mistakes, I hope they're little ones that could be fixed easily. Big hugs to each and every one of you. I love you. And hopefully I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>